Hi there, this is Jeffrey the Librarian. Today we're going to be comparing and contrasting Michelle Thomas and the Pimsleur uh, method for language learning, these two different programs that are pretty popular. Uh, a lot of people wonder which one is better. Um, the answer is uh, they're both good and you should do both of them. So uh, they're just, they're, they have slight uh, differences but basically the main focus of both of them is the same. They both are unique in that they focus on training your ear to hear the language and they both train you to, de to develop a, uh, the patterns of the language. They develop a, an understanding of how sentences and phrases are formed in the language in addition to giving you useful vocabulary. So like I've talked before, here's Pimsleur, and you can get Pimsleur in different formats. You can get it uh, downloadable. Uh, I like the CDs just because I like to listen to it in my car. So Pimsleur is huge, okay? So this is Chinese Mandarin one, um, and all the Pimsleur courses are 30 lessons, 15 CDs, and then an additional CD that helps you with uh, a booklet that they include that helps build vocabulary. But the Pimsleur course is 15 hours, and that's just level one for Chinese, and Chinese, like other popular languages in Pimsleur, would have five levels. So lots and lots of hours, five levels of 30, 30 minute lessons. That's a ton of audio training. Um, on the other hand, uh, Michelle Thomas is, um, here's, uh, again, I like the CDs. You can get this in other uh, formats. This is um, eight CDs uh, for each lesson. So for each level, there's eight CDs as opposed to the uh, 15 um, CDs in Pimsleur. So it's about half the length. Uh, and it goes about twice as fast. Um, Pimsleur takes more time. It goes at a slower pace. And so I actually do recommend, if you're new to a language, I do recommend doing the Pimsleur level one first and then doing the Michelle Thomas to reinforce what you learned in the Pimsleur. And some people say, just do the Michelle Thomas because it's faster. I say do the Pimsleur first and then do the Michelle Thomas. Michelle Thomas goes at a more rapid clip. It will reinforce what you learned and as well as adding uh, some new things. Now, uh, a format difference between the two is that Pimsleur um, is uh, Pimsleur is much more um, like you're sitting down one on one with a tutor. The tutor is going to introduce you to a new word, a new phrase, or a new sentence, and you're going to repeat, and then you're going to recall. Whereas Michelle Thomas is almost like you're sitting in a room with other students and you're going to actually hear the responses from the other students. Sometimes there are these students, uh, like in real life, if you are in a room with other language learners, their responses are sometimes incorrect and they will be corrected by the narrator. There's a native language um, speaker that will, you know, help the student and correct them. Some people find that a little distracting to have other people uh, talking on the CD, other students, especially if they, they give an incorrect response, which is then corrected. Um, I actually liked it because it, <clears throat> it makes you feel like there's other, you're, you're with other people, so you're in your car by yourself uh, doing this course, and, but you do feel like you're, you're actually in a classroom with other people, so that part of it's kind of neat. Uh, another important difference between uh, Pimsleur and Michelle Thomas is the Pimsleur CDs, uh, the Pimsleur lessons, do include a break. 
between when the tutor or the narrator says, okay, now say this. So the, the narrator says, say this sentence, you know, in your target language, Spanish, French, whichever lesson you're taking, there is included a space so that you can give your response and then you hear the, the, the correct response. The Michel Thomas, it's more sort of packed, uh, compact. So if you're in your car, you do have to push the stop button uh, because there isn't that pause. The narrator or the tutor says, okay, please say this sentence. And there's almost immediately a response. And so there isn't the gap that there is with the Pimsleur. And that's why I recommend Pimsleur first, because there is that pause and you don't find yourself having to oop, push pause or push stop before the narrator responds. So in some ways, the Pimsleur is, a, is, a, is, is easier to use in the car because there's less uh, pushing of the stop button. In fact, with Pimsleur, you're supposed to be able to to get the answer before the narrator starts uh, saying the correct response. Uh, and if you're not able to do that with the Pemsler, if you're asked to recall information and you can't, you can't get to it before the narrator responds, that's one of those indications that you need to do the lesson over again. Another difference between the Pemsler and the Michelle Thomas is the Pemsler course um, at least on the CDs. So one CD has two tracks, lesson one and then lesson two. And then the next CD is lesson three and lesson four. And they're both about half an hour long. The Michelle Thomas CD, the one CD has multiple tracks. It might have seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 tracks. And then the tracks are, instead of being 30 minutes long, are broken up into two minutes or five minutes or seven minutes. So some people may find that more helpful than the Pimsleur because if you're struggling on a, one portion of the lesson, you don't have to redo the whole lesson. You can go back to track four and do track four again, which is a three minute track, as opposed to in Pimsleur, if you're doing uh, level uh, lesson 13 and you stumble over uh, a minute or two of it, a few minutes of it. You don't have to feel like you have to redo the whole 30 minute uh, lesson. You can, uh, in Michelle Thomas, just sort of jump to that track, that portion of the lesson that you need to work on. But again, I, I recommend both of these programs. They're wonderful. Um, like I said before, some people say, Pimsleur is great and Michelle Thomas isn't, or Michelle Thomas is awesome and Pimsleur isn't. The truth is that these are, um, Michelle Thomas and Pimsleur are very similar in that they're both based on audio. They go at different paces. They have a slightly different uh, flavor to them in terms of uh, the pacing and uh, sort of the tempo, but really they, they do reinforce each other they're helpful um, for all language learners. I do recommend starting with the Pimsleur, if you're, especially if you're new to a language, do the Pimsleur level one and then do the Michel Thomas and then do the Pimsleur two and then do the next level of Michel Thomas. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Jeffrey the Librarian. Visit us uh, at our website at jeffreythelibrarian.com. If you like this video, subscribe. Thanks so much for your time. Happy language learning. Bye-bye.